It's 5.08 this morning. Well, have you ever adopted a cute puppy or kitten or at least thought about it? Well, what about a calf? That's what thousands of kids across Wisconsin kind of got to do this school year through a new program to the state called Adopt a Cow. It's to help students get a better understanding about life on the farm. We are now in the milking parlor. While farm visits weren't possible for many schools this year, between COVID and budgeting, dairy farmers of Wisconsin had an idea. With COVID and so many schools being virtual, I think teachers really, really thought, let's try this. Adopt a cow. This is the one that was born about two hours ago, so she is fairly new yet. It's a program started in Pennsylvania and now a huge success in Wisconsin, as a handful of Wisconsin dairy calves taught their unique farm story to kids across the state. My gosh, this is their first year and it just exploded. They ended up connecting with over 6,500 classrooms in 150 schools in almost every county. We've got Whittier Elementary School in Pleasant Prairie. Um, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, North High School. As more than 28,000 kids adopted a calf from one of three Wisconsin dairy farms. You can see all of the new faces. One of those farmers included Synergy Dairy in Pulaski with Heather Jokey and her family. The disconnect from the average person in our population uh, from the farm is getting wider and wider. And at the same time, we have this um, increasing interest from most consumers about where does my food come from? How is it produced? We have the opportunity to bridge that gap and share what we do and why we do it. Their farm, which has grown a lot over the last 17 years, provided three calves at the beginning of the school year to follow over the course of their learning including this gal named Dorito. Dorito was born last October. While she's not a cow yet, kids all around the state got to watch her grow up. Cassandra Bano's fourth graders in Nina were one of the classrooms keeping their eyes on her. I feel like they looked at Dorito as kind of having like a class pet. As their new friend gave their farming unit a little more excitement and connection. They have really loved it. And in fact, let me show you, we have like a little posted board in our classroom in which here is all of the news all about our Dorito. So um, it starts with having like the adoption certificate and this was the initial picture that we got. And then along the way, as she was getting older and older, there were other different posts and stuff that we got through the Synergy Dairy um, Facebook page. While students followed their calves like Dorito over the year, they wrapped up the program with a virtual tour of the farm. Someone was wondering, what the biggest cow is that you guys have. Asking any and all questions they could think of. I expected somebody to ask if Dorito ever tried a Dorito, but that didn't come up. They made the connection when we were doing our virtual trip all about how one cow's milk for the day, that it's enough to produce enough, uh, I want to say it was like 20 lots of matzah cheese pizzas. And at the end of the day, the main theme through all of the questions that we got from those kids is how is my calf doing? Is she happy? Is she healthy? Are you feeding her well? Um, and does she like playing with her friends? And you know, at the end of the day, those are the same things that are important to us. While fourth graders are the target age, the program is open to any grade level and will be brought back next year as programs like Adopt a Cow help build trust in the industry in a fun way with our kids. Our students and kids are our future consumers. And they need to really understand that, you know, dairy farming and dairy farmers take care of their calves and cows. They feed them well. They provide lots of care. And all of that translates into enjoying and loving dairy products. It made the kids feel, I guess, a sense of normalcy. And I feel like they also took a lot of pride. And to kind of bring this all full circle, Dorito and the other two calves from Synergy Dairy will be at the Discovery Barn in Manitowoc tomorrow. So any of the kids and teachers who are a part of this program can meet them in person and they'll also get free admission that day. And if you're a teacher and you're like, yeah, I kind of want to do this for my kids next year, mark your calendars for August 1st. That's when you have to register. We have all this information and more up on our website as well.